Buddha asked him, how does hell happen to appear? So Kasidigarbha Bodhisattva said, because everything we do, everything we think, everything we say commits the negative karma that creates hell. That is why our life is full of suffering, because we are not aware, because we are not aware of the real realities. We are not aware of the truth of these matters. Therefore, we have no compass in our actions. Once we are aware of it, we'll learn how to let it go, because we don't attach to the good or the bad. No matter what things we're doing, we don't attach to it. We are suffering because we are strongly attached, hence the six realms. My respectful fellow practitioners, last time I saw the news recently, there was a story about a very famous star. Because of the work stress and competition from his peers, his body has weakened and he couldn't accept that he has weakened in health. Because that's the truth of human life. We always have deteriorating health. He couldn't accept it because it hurt his profile as a star in the film industry. His current life is something like a very intense and action-packed one. So he's willing to pay whatever cost it takes to repair his health. It doesn't matter what deeds he had to do. He's trying to get himself back in shape. It doesn't matter how long it takes or whatever the cost is. A lot of people ask this star, is your life hard? And then this star says, yes, it is very hard. It's full of suffering. He is suffering. So if he understood the truth that life itself is suffering, then he won't do that. As long as you are deluded, you cannot stop yourself from committing negative karmas. People who commit negative karma obviously will reap what they sow. So they will obviously reap the negative effect, which is suffering. In Korea, it is very famous. A lot of people go there for surgeries, trying to make themselves look beautiful. Anyone interested? Being a woman is very hard as well. They even have these norms. As a male member of society, we should understand and be empathetic towards our female counterparts. It's not asking too much. There is a lot of this thing hidden from our sight. Doing these kinds of surgeries, facial surgeries, you know, cosmetically, not because of medical reasons, is really disrespectful to your parents who gave you your body. And there is also karma inflicted there. People who are wise, they will not do things like this. Therefore, the goal of Buddhist education is, we must be clear on this, is to help us, to help all beings liberate from the sufferings of samsara and attain ultimate happiness. That's the effect. The cause is to break through the delusion and be enlightened. If you want to be happy, really happy, and ultimately happy, then you must cultivate the cause. There's no effect without cause. There's no fruit without seeds. So what is the seed? What is the cause? We need to let go of the delusion. That's why we're learning Buddhism right now. It helps us to break through these layers and layers of delusions. Only then can you improve. So where does our suffering come from? Delusion. Because we are not aware of the actual reality underneath the phenomena in your environment, in your life, in the things that happen in your life. Why does this happen? We are not aware of the truth. That's it. However, if you are awakened to the truth of your life, 
if you are aware, understand, you know why, you know the cause and effect, then you will be a very happy person. Why? Because all you think, all you see, all you know, your ideas and views, and all of your actions and thoughts that you generate are correct and wise naturally. So just change your compass a little bit to the right direction. Everything will be in the right place. Everything will come together.